Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. We are back on Oakfield Farm today and we are going by using this tractor here on a fertilizer shower but we'll have to go on. As you can see my um, money has went up and that's because it went on and I sold the last load of wheat that I had. There's still some wheat left so if I'm going to get chickens I'll still have some there if needs be. But to start off with we'll go on and we'll look for a fertilizer spreader. Which is way down the bottom here. And we'll go for go for this one here because it's quite a good capacity almost. And then I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna buy a small trailer that I installed as well and I'm gonna get a front loader tractor. The front loader tractor will be my favourite tractor of all. Which is right here. I'll keep the wheels standard. I'll put all the work lights on it. Put both beacons. And then we'll go weight block. Keep it as a 956 because it's my favourite. I'm front loader attacher. I'll need the stool one. I'll leave it on plate in the roof. And she'll buy that as well. And then we'll go across here to the low loaders. I think it's in. Yeah, it's this bigger one. I'll put it that configuration with this is a UK map, so I'll put a UK plate on it. And there we go. We'll teleport up here for now. Not need to go and buy a front loader for the tractor. And we'll go for this one. We'll put it as case red. Extra two hundred pound. You will need the pallet forks for it. Go across, put it on. See, so such a nice, well-designed mod. Go into the inside of it here. It's very well mopped out and very good detail on us. The only thing it's missed and I know in our we 956 we have the case logo on the side pillars here. And the radio and very very good mod. But I'll go over at the front and we'll actually we'll buy more fertilizer. Go pallets. We'll buy one more pallet of seed just to have it and then we'll get where's the fertilizer there? We'll get not two pallets of fertilizer just to have them. Hopefully I have enough space on this trailer for this all. Fingers crossed to do anyway. If I take this pallet it's at this side. Load it all up from the side. I'm hoping we'll have enough space to put the fertilizer spread around the back of it. Hopefully. I know we can use the fertilizer spread to do every one of the pallets, put the half pallet in this. Oh, I'm gonna need a weight in the back of this tractor. See what way this goes. If it'll actually come off. It'll come off. Don't know what 
around there. Get these loaded. Oh, that's that all loaded up now. That's there's a bit of a pain in the butt, but got it sorted. And I just put the fertilizer spreader in the back, and then we can get it attached on until the 1455 once we go back down to the yard. This I don't know if I can put straps over the fertilizer spreader but we can know, stick the straps there anyway just to see if it'll actually sit. Don't think it will. Might work as if it's strapped hopefully. Say in front of yours. Let's get back down to the farm and get this field 16 fertilized, I think field 36. It's fully fertilized as we've seen in the last episode, but we'll get field 16 sorted now in this episode. And then, well, I don't have a big lot of money left after buying all that. Just saying, oh, up. That's a bit of a nightmare. See you guys back down at the farm. Right, here we are back at the farm. I'll leave this here for now. We'll unstrap that strap. We'll go over here and get this wee baby. 1455. This is going to be an old school episode with two old school cases. On wonder, just double check actually, make sure field 16 hasn't grew too much. No, it hasn't, that's good. Okay, we need to get down here and get this fertilized, and then we can speed time up again. We might actually just speed up time here now before I go down. Head down here now and then I think I actually will buy a few sheep once of this field fertilized and um, we'll get a water tanker to get them fed and, but we'll have to get more we'll have maybe just have to buy a few Hay bales just to take, uh, or buy a uh, hay bale just to tie them over until they get more. Until we get these two fields harvested, once we get them harvested, they should have enough money to buy more from the wagon. Well, I might buy a baler instead of a wagon for this one. But 
Capital C, as you know, in the Charwell series. In the next episode, we'll be harvesting cotton, and we'll also be getting the corn harvested as well. Well, either the corn or the sunflowers, one of the two, will be done in the next episode. Oop. That was an epic field. I'll get past them. But like I was saying there in the Charwell series in the next episode we'll be getting the corn harvested or the sunflowers but the cotton will definitely be harvested. I'm just wondering if I got crap destruction on. Hopefully I don't. I don't. I'll leave it off for now but I'll put it on. As I know I need a set of row crop tires to do this properly but this will do for this episode and then we'll look about a set of row crops for one of the tractors. But let's get this fertilized. That's this field nearly fully fertilised. I think there's just a wee tiny wee bit here in the corner. But as you've seen there, it kind of grew on me a bit more, a bit faster than I thought. But I think now field 36 might be ready to harvest. Not 100% sure, but I can go on and check. I'll need to go on and check and see how good or bad of a job we've done on this. Because I can't see anything of what I've spread or anything until I go on to the menu and check. We'll leave that about there. Then we'll go on here and check. That's not too bad. Then why is that? I don't know why that wasn't fully fertilized. That should have been it fully fertilized. Field 36 isn't fertilized either. What? Why? What happened this now? Maybe the mob updated and. Oh, that's annoying. I bet you Field 36 is ready too now. Yep. And lost the full. Oh. 
I know the map updated there between the last episode and this episode and it just came back to bite me in the butt. But anyway, we'll go and now and we'll make a start on harvesting field 36. We'll bring this back over to the yard and then get the combine up there. But we'll stop first here and get the get a couple of sheep bought. Only you're gonna get maybe four or five, see how many you can buy. But for this first lock we'll just buy them at the gate here and just get them delivered and then maybe the future lock of sheep that we'll get will maybe get them get a cattle sailor and transport them. Or even is animal dealer on this map? It is I can't see it, it must be up there up the top. Oop trip past my road. Too busy looking for where to buy animals and never paid attention to where it was in the road. At least it wasn't that far past it. Shoot down in here now and we own field seven here so we can buy sheep and put in that. See how many we can get. Jump out here. Ooh, there dear. I'll get four no, I'll get six for now. I'll get the M6 for now. We'll have to go get the combine set up here and then we'll go and get a water tanker while the combine's working. Get them bodies fed and watered. Or we'll go. Now we'll go and get them sorted here first and then we'll maybe leave the harvest until the next episode and maybe field 16 will be ready to go as well we can just do all that harvest and all in one episode and sell all and see how much money we've made but we shall take this and park it in here out of the way for now and then we need to find somewhere to put these pallets we might just stick them in this shed here for now we'll get these straps all took off then we can run back up to the shop and get a bale of hay to give them for now and then we'll I think there might be and I'll just go on and check because I know I've got a wee mod for a small water tanker Maybe have enough for it. No, I don't. I know there's another mod for a water tanker. That's only five hundred pound. So I might go and get it for the next episode then. It only holds like two thousand liters or something like that. Something like a wee small tank, I think. And it's only it holds about the same amount. So it will do this okay for all the amount of sheep I have at the minute until we get a bit of money yet up to buy a slightly bigger water tanker but no big deal. It's not hard to download it for the next episode. So I'd say by the time I have them fed here with the hay because I know hay can... How dare is hay to buy? Six hundred and fifty pound. Yeah, we'll only buy one bale for now. I could have bought another one, but that leave me completely broke. I only have six hundred and sixty-two pound at the moment. Started off this episode with over a hundred grand, and it and it was very little. Whoop. And it was nearly nothing. But in the next episode we'll be harvesting, so 
we'll get all that money back. I'd like to think with the two soybean fields would get. Get about well I don't know how much we'll get off it, but I'll make a rough guess of about eighty thousand anyway off it. Off the two fields. I might get lucky and get a bit more, but what price is soybeans? Soybeans is a very good price at the minute. Hopefully it stays that way. Let's go get this last pallet off and head up and get our hay bale. I was going to use a trailer, but I don't know. I will maybe just use a trailer because of the on there. Because it can come off the pallet forks very easy. I don't know what it is about these pallets, but they don't like dealing with these pallet forks at all. Whoop. Really need to look about a rear weight for this here for moving these pallets. Yeah, we'll just hook this on. Fold it up. And then we'll swing around and go back out the back road. Get some, get this hay bale lifted and down in and feed them. And see what way the sheep go, but we can mow that way field there and get some hay for them or even just give them some grass because I know they can just accept grass. So I might just mow that there and lift it and put it straight in as grass for the sheep. But that'll be in a few episodes time because we'll have to get mowers bought and either a baler or a wagon bought. And you guys can let me know which is you prefer, which is like me to lift it with a wagon or which is prefer me to bail it. I know the bales will be handier for the sheep, but at the same time the wagon could be handier for there's no lift in the bales. Yeah, there's field 36 sitting 100% ready. Just waiting on the combine to pull in. I wonder where the entrance into field 36 is. It's maybe in that other wee road. Yeah, I think it is in that other wee road off. That'll not be too bad, it'll not be too hard to find entrance. But I'll find entrance in the tractor before I bring the combine. It'll be easier, got the tractor torn down the wee road than trying to turn the combine. There's a wee tiny field there. I wonder how much it is. Let me just go on and check. At least 30,000 for that wee bit. I'll maybe look up a bit it too and then we'll have a wee bit of grass for the sheep. Because I know I could mow the grass that the sheep are in but that'll be taking away their feed in, re in realistic terms like if I know if it's playing season they would, they would eat that grass that would count as their feed but because I'm not running seasons don't think it works like that so I could technically just mow that grass and feed them it that way but we'll try and keep it as realistic as as we can, the farming simulator. But here we are up at the shop now. Get in around here and hook the trailer off and get that bale on. Way down to them and get them fed. Leave the, bait, the trailer here. Oh. What if I could have the right thing selected? Great that the pallet forks work as bale spike as well. They nearly work better than the bale spike. Stick that on there and we'll just stick two straps on it. We'll do alright. And not go anywhere. Mm, 
get a swung round. But yeah, the next Charwell episode will hopefully be going up tomorrow or the next day. All being well, I'll be planning it and then I'm planning on maybe a multiplayer series in Minecraft or maybe another game. But I was thinking of maybe setting up a multiplayer service for server for the Xbox on Farming Simulator. You guys can let me know what map you would like that to be on if you would be interested in that. But let's get back down to the sheep here now and get them fed. Hopefully this will be enough to tie them over for a wee while. It might not, might not. There's no cows, one bale would be nothing to six cows. I'll wait for that car comes here. Or maybe not. Ooh, some needs. Ah. That nearly didn't work out. I think for four or for six sheep that one bale should be enough. For a couple of hours anyway until they get a bit of money gathered up and get them fields harvested and get mowers, like I keep on saying. Do you guys can let me know what you think? Or do you think should I got pigs maybe or because I know Charwell it's gonna have cows now in the next episode or maybe the episode after. There will be cows bought in it. So it'll be probably be my main cow farm in any series running for now. And this one here might be my main sheep. Main sheep farm going. Uh, we'll go on past. Yeah. See if we're going on past and then going on down and in that way. Because I think that's actually the feeding trough there for them. Some size will feel just for six sheep. We'll have to get it rightly filled into a sheep. See how many sheep we can fit into it. Get here and it. To leave that open. We'll head back out through that. Shoot away up here, like this here. We might actually just mow this once. Didn't actually take it all. How much did they need? We'll need 3,000, so there's a thousand liters in that bale. We'll maybe just leave it there and it can walk away. As and when they need it. I don't think it disappears like a dozen seasons. There's known seasons if you left it out, the bale would probably disappear before they'd actually get to use any of the rest of this because it's only 987 litres in it. They'll have to get them some water. I would say that wee water tanker should tie me over for a good wee while until we get more sheep and all because I don't think sheep use much water. We'll get this left back down to the yard now. So happy we got this here. We need 956. Just wish it sounded like the. like maybe being real life. On railway tractor. It'd be great if you get. Like second hand tractors instead of having to buy new ones all the time. Buy tractors with big hours on them or wee hours or and then the amount of hours was it 
adjusted the price of them. Would be good. At least then you wouldn't have to buy new all the time, and you could buy tractors slightly cheaper, and it would be a lot easier to build the farm up with bigger machinery and all. You can buy the bigger machinery for that bit cheaper. But I know these V tractors here and the 1455s that's been up there in real life doesn't matter about ours, it just seems to be the prices going up and up and up for them. But we'll park this in here out of the way for now. We'll maybe get a pickup to use that sailor with. We'll park it into this shed here out of the road. Then we'll take this and we'll just park this into this shed over here. But that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.